We have a uh, Lorenz HDS-12 on the bench. Uh, it's kind of a weird one. We tried powering this on before we started the video. Okay, we got power hooked up. And right off the bat, we're drawing half an amp. Power button doesn't do anything. Uh, initially, when we first turned this on, uh, it, it turned on, it started booting. And after about, I don't know, two, three minutes, uh, the screen sort of went blue with a bunch of vertical lines, real weird. Um, so it basically froze. And then after another few minutes, uh, it power cycled. And now we're left with this. Um, no signs of life. Half an amp. And let's get it apart and see what's going on. Okay, so we got the T8 screws loosened. Uh, nuts off. And there's quite a bit of moisture in here. On the inside case, I can see water. And all over the motherboard, there's water on the display. I don't know if you can see it. See that? It's hard to see. Hard to see in the camera. It's water. Water all over the place. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do before we do anything else is I'm going to get this in front of the heater, uh, probably for most of the day. Just let it really dry out really well, um, and then we'll take it from there and see where we're at. Looks like we have some touch issues. We're going to go ahead and power this off and we're going to try to calibrate the touch screen. Okay, so we got issues here. Uh, touch isn't working properly. Uh, we have some corrosion on the button assembly. Um, we're going to take another good look at this board, make sure there's no other corrosion. Check the CPU card. Problem is moisture can get underneath those BGA chips, the processor, flash, and RAM. Just wreak havoc in there. I see some corrosion right here. So we're going to take this, uh, take the board out and put it under the microscope and do a good visual inspection.
So this is completely insane. <laughs> Let me recap what happened, okay? Uh, water damage to the unit. We dried it out. We got it to turn back on okay. Touchscreen dead, okay? Disassembled it. Uh, took the board out. Disassembled the screen. Found that the cable connecting physically to the digitizer glass <clears throat> was bad. Disconnected. No hope. It's done. When that happens, there's no fix. As far as I know, I mean, I've done tricks in the past on little units. Um, when I used to repair some other stuff way back in the days, uh, there's some tricks where you'd heat up the, the adhesive. and But there's no adhesive on here. It's done. It's the way it's made from the manufacturer. I remembered I picked up some conductive paint just for some project or something from China. So... I figured, well, this this is not going to work. It's just kind of wasting my time, but whatever. I rebuilt the um, the contacts on the digitizer, right? And then, okay, now I have uh, conductive pads in the digitizer. Well, how am I going to connect the cable to the digitizer? Adhe adhesive isn't going to work because it's going to be um, an insulator, right? So what do you do? I tried sandwiching some of the paint stuff in there. It didn't work well because it squished out and I had to take it off, clean it back off again. Anyway, I let the paint dry. I remade the pads again, let it dry a little bit, used a heat gun uh, to make it a little more liquid. Just using a little kid's paintbrush here to try to paint this on. I'm no artist, trust me. Uh, and then I took some, this is going to sound nuts, it's going to sound crazy in fact, crazy glue, right? Put it on the uh, the cable, stuck it down there with my thumb, make sure it was a good a good connection, the best I can get. Hit it with the heat gun, more pressing on it, waited a while. Absolutely zero chance is going to work. I'm ready to email the customer, hey, sorry, digitizer's bad, sucks. We fired it on, it calibrated, which is totally bizarre, right? And now, guys, what? <laughs> this is this is crazy. I can't believe this worked. Conductive paint, some crazy glue, and we fixed the digitizer. Wow. We don't have any digitizers. So this was a complete lost cause. We we're ready to send that email to the customer saying sorry, did the best we could, and out of nowhere. Just totally, totally insane. I'm still shocked. I can't believe it. <laughs> Who? That's awesome. All right. This one's done, guys. I gotta, I gotta order more of that conductive paint. Now that I know, we can repair digitizers with conductive paint. I gotta stock up on this stuff today. So, I guess if you have a messed up digitizer, maybe you could repair it. Yeah, alright. Anybody has Lawrence uh, fish finders? Maybe an HTS 12 with a bad digitizer? I'm still shocked. What did I say? HTS, Lawrence digitizers? If anybody has any low wrench fish finders, hummingbird, Garmin, or any electronic devices, just go to our website, www.rudolphrepairs.com. Uh, you could email us, rudolphrepairs at gmail.com. Uh, 800 number is 1-800-517-9101. Wow. Alright guys, until next time we pull another rabbit out of our hat.